So today I want to show you why the butcher tray makes the best palette in my opinion. So last night I did some acrylic painting and on my butcher tray I have dried acrylic paint, I have some dry medium up here that's really stubborn. You can kind of pick at it to get it off a little bit which some people find satisfying. My students especially enjoy doing this. But I like to clean my palette off uh, before I paint again. That way when I add more wet paint on it doesn't flake up the dry paint into the wet paint which is a huge pain. So this is a great um, palette for easy cleaning. It's fast, it's efficient. I'll show you how I do it. So the first thing I do actually is turn on the faucet and heat up my water. So once your water is nice and warm, go ahead and put a little bit onto the palette um, to just kind of start soaking. Um, here I'm doing the same thing, um, although I'm just applying the hot water with a glass. That works too. You could even boil water on your stove, but my water from my faucet gets pretty hot um, and makes it really easy to get this paint off of my tray. Now, almost immediately after putting the hot water on the butcher tray, you are going to start seeing it bubble up, especially if you have a little bit of a thin area in places, but already you could take your finger and notice how easily the paint will start to come up. But I actually like to just let it sit for a couple minutes. Maybe I'll go, you know, get something else ready, clean my brushes, whatever else I have to do. Because once that paint is sitting in that water for a little bit, it makes it so easy to uh, just scrape off. So I actually like to use a palette knife, but if you don't have a palette knife, you could use a plastic knife, you could use a popsicle stick, but I'll just take that palette knife and just kind of start scraping the paint. Now this particular example is a little tricky. I'm holding the camera and attempting to scrape so it, it's not looking as magical as it does when I have both hands available. But then I just kind of scoop up the extra paint and I actually just throw that away then. Um, I have saved it before to make like other little creations. Uh, for example, you could take bottle caps and put the dried uh, acrylic paint in there and fill it with epoxy or resin. I'll do a tutorial on that sometime. It's pretty fun. Uh, but here's just another video I took of me cleaning my palette. Again, I think it's a pretty magical process and a magical palette. Um, this palette I have is, I want to say, 11 inches by 15 inches. It cost I think it was about $12, maybe even less than that. Um, I think it's a pretty good size, although uh, the even bigger size is nicer because you can have more room for mixing colors. Uh, but this will last a lifetime. It's totally worth the investment. It's nice to not have to use a disposable palette and just you know have the waste and throw things away. So I really like this palette uh, for those reasons as well. And you can use this palette for acrylic paint, you could also use it for watercolor for gouache because of those edges it will you know hold all of your paint in there which is really awesome too so um, and I actually with a colleague of mine um, got a grant for every single one of my students to have one of these palettes in my classroom and they love them they've been amazing addition to our department so um, I can't recommend them enough. And the last stage too, you can even scrub them with a brush, clean them out with some um, soap to get it really nice and clean and ready for your next painting. I will mention too that if I want to save my paint, I have found that just wrapping uh, saran wrap over top of the butcher tray a couple times keeps my paint nice and wet. Sometimes I'll spritz a little water with a spray bottle on just to keep it moist depending on you know how long I'm going to be away from my paint. Um, and I've also used like a big Ziploc bag so most any type of plastic is going to keep your paint nice and damp, damp for you for the next time. Um, but please like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what is your favorite type of palette and why. Thank you.